Hello people, this is me. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to plot a tree from any sort of graph that is given to us. It can be anything, the graph that we are talking about. It can be any random graph, but all we want is the minimum spanning tree of this graph, which is just one and unique. So we want to write a general code by which we can get a tree, a proper tree from any type of graph that is given to us. So what, uh, what are the requisite? Let us see. So in a graph, uh, what all are required? Vertices, edges and weights. Weights are nothing but priorities. The importance that we give. The significance of the edges is nothing but the weights that we talk here. So Vertices as we can see in this example, I have taken the vertices uh, as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, we have 6 vertices and we have taken uh, 11 widths because we have 11 possible edges here in this example as you can see here. So first we are writing DG. We are defining DG to be the sparse matrix of uh, the two sets of vertices matrix and W. So what does it do is it um, optimizes the matrix a bit. Now we take UG as the lower triangle of DG plus DG dash. Now uh, it depends you can also take the upper triangle of DG plus DG dash. It is up to you uh, to decide which is going to be a sync node. Is it uh, 1 or is it 6? If we take trail, uh, if we take the lower triangle then the sync node is 1. If we take the upper triangle, I mean TRIU, TRIU, then the sync node is 6. So we are going to see uh, an example, okay? So suppose, now this is the code, let us now run this. Let us see what happens. So you see guys, so this is our biograph viewer terminal. So here we see that the sync node is 1 and you can also see the arrow keys and all, so everything is coming down. To one I mean from six five four three two one so you can see so this is when we uh, wrote that it is trill of DG plus digitus now let us change it to trio so let us see what happens so now I change it to trio now again I'll run so you see this is another terminal now let us compare these two terminals so you see this case was for trill and we saw that this is node 1 as a sync node. Now this case, this particular case was uh, for trio and here we see that the node 6 is the sync node. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I mean it is up to you which you want to choose as your uh, you know, sync node. right? So anyways, so we are closing this terminals. Now we want to move on. So this was just a graph, you know, the, the thing that we plotted here. Now what I want to plot is a minimum spanning tree. So and the code here you can see. So this is ST that is the spanning tree. So ST comma pred that is predecessor. This will graph mean span tree of UG. And then again I have uh, done this display line, the output line. So I'm running this. Okay. So here we get some sort of error I guess, I uh, need to fix this somehow, so okay let me just fix it first, right, so let me do it trill, yes, now I am uh, saving this and then let me check the code, so yeah, the code is good, it's, uh, it looks pretty fine, so again, run. So now as you see, uh, so we see that this was uh, the graph and this is the tree and the tree is such that the weights, the sum of weights is minimum. You can just uh, verify it yourself that 0 0.29, 0 0.29, 0 0.21, 0 0.32, 0 0.36, they are the minimum sets or the minimum, or the most minimum possible set of weights. Okay, so this is how we got the unique tree from this graph. Okay. So yeah guys, so this is all, uh, now in my next video I'm going to tell you how we can apply this particular concept in
counting a tree from a graph is consist of electrical uh, elements like capacitors or inductors, resistors, voltage sources, current sources and all other stuff. So till then, goodbye.